MIT, now we can go to this. MIT is now publishing a children's book for communists. Uh, written by German author B.B. Adam Zak, who I guess also, you said, has some yes, queer politics queer politics yes. and communism. Now, here's something important. When we first read about this, even one of our producers said, uh, well, it's MIT, I think it's MIT like publishing. It doesn't have anything to do with the school. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this is MIT. The university is publishing a children's book on communism, extolling the virtues of communism, uh, teaches the values of communism and presents communism as, quote, not that hard. Uh, uh, here, here's something that I find it portrays cap evils of capitalism. They're little revolutionaries yeah. in this. Um, this is the perfect tar target demographic for these people. Mm. It's appealing to little greedy children. And I know what you're saying. Well, no, capitalism is greedy. No, no, no. Communism is greedy. Let me tell you why. Because even if someone looks at the capitalist system and they're greedy, doesn't matter. Well, I want that one in one hand and dump in the other, see which one fills up first. That's what my grandfather used to tell me. It doesn't matter, I, I, want, I want it, I want it. You're, well, you're greedy, okay, you want it. But no one's giving it to you. You have to work for it. Now, some people cheat for it, some people lie for it. It's not a perfect system, but you don't simply get it because you say, me, 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 I want, I want, I want. Communism, it's I want it, here you go. Communism, or Marxism, or even socialism, is the parent who never spanks their child, is the parent who never gives them a timeout. The kid just says, eh, I want, I want, I want. Okay, here you go, but I want free college. Okay, here you go, but I want free healthcare. Okay, here you go, he has more, I want, I want. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. This is the, th the ultimate irony is this book that's being published by MIT, by the way. If you need to talk about, this is not some small sector of leftism. That's why we talk about critical theory. This is important for people to know. It's not just some small uh, social justice fringe. A lot of people who've been red-pilled like to act as, oh, I'm a classical liberal, but this doesn't, no. This is the Democratic Party. This is all mainstream universities. This is all mainstream public schools. This is the entire Democratic national platform and people who support them now, okay? You can't say it's some fringe when MIT, one of the most prestigious schools in the country, is printing a communist manifesto right next to the Hello Kitty backpacks. Communism can only function in a pessimistic, greedy society. And it's been, it's because of professors, generally speaking, who are losers, who haven't gone out and accomplished anything, and so they like to sit and they like to tell children how they should live their lives, because they're open-minded. Um, it it appeals, it's okay, you can, <laughs> Gerald's trying to not, try not to laugh. It's true, that's, that, that's what it is. It's professors who are losers. That's why you, why do you have a disproportionate amount of communists, Marxists, and socialists in, in universities? And why do they all support Bernie Sanders who was a couch surfing loser until he was 43 years old? Come on, nowhere else does this occur. It's because a lot of these professors are losers, but they're intellectuals. No, they're losers. They're losers who didn't accomplish enough, and so their main, their main grab on authority, on authority, because many of these professors are authoritarian, as anyone knows who's expressed a different opinion in a college class, uh, Campus Reform talks about this a lot, is they have a grip on the students, and by God, they're gonna make sure that these students think the same way they think. Need more proof? Look at the studies that we spoke about just last week in critical theory. Look at their, uh, how they're printing uh, communist books for children. It's right out there in the open. Let's not allow the myth, the pervasive myth to continue that capitalism is for greedy pigs. No, socialism and communism is for greedy pigs. And it works because, well, it works for a temporary period of time because greedy pigs don't have to do anything. They don't ha why is it for some reason selfish for a Ben Carson, as we were talking about, raised to a single mother in Detroit, uh, graduating top of his class, uh, was it Naval Academy? Was it ROTC? I don't know. Guy, guy has an amazing pedigree. Why is it selfish for that guy to pull himself out and to want to enjoy the fruits of his labor, but it's not selfish for some kid who read a communist book from MIT to want to take the fruits of his labor? Just shut up about this whole capitalism is greedy and socialism is compassionate, communism is compassionate. Yeah, tell that to the hundreds of millions of people who've been killed under communist atheist regimes. It's the most evil ideology that's ever existed. It sucks. It's never worked. Oh, but my guy can do it better. Shut up and go to hell. <laughs> I don't care. You're completely off base. It's never <laughs> going to work. Communism sucks. The last guy who did it sucks, and you suck. So we do actually have, uh, uh, so they sent out as a promo uh, themselves teaching this book, this uh, communism for little revolutionaries. They're already, they're already apparently teaching this at schools across the country in grade schools. They have them young. Yeah. Now, let's see. Okay, so this, boys and girls, is Timmy. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, yeah, he looks yeah, fun. Yeah. Timmy? 
opened up a lemonade stand and made 85 cents in profit. Okay? Oh, okay. We fucking hate Timmy. Oh. oh. Now, why do we hate Timmy? Does anyone know why we hate Timmy? Because Timmy is a what do we call them? What do we call Timmy's? Timmy is a dissident. That's right, he's a dissident. Can anyone say dissident? Dissident! Close, Corey. And what do we do with dissidents? Does anyone remember? We execute them. Oh. That's right, we execute dissidents. Hang on. Timmy has to be executed because he's a greedy, capitalist, selfish little f this video is taken as a clip from the full show, Daily Show, at lotterwithcredit.com slash mugclub, where it's available exclusively $69 a year. That's less than $6 a month, less than two expensive cups of coffee, or you can feed an African child, but why would you want to do? Just buy coffee or join the mug club. Daily Show, lotterwithcredit.com slash mugclub. See you there. Don't feed children.